Hello, Tristan Taylor here again. I'm going to be dismantling the speaker now. Open my knife. Hold uh, the phone in one hand and my right hand. Hmm. Let me get my tripod. Wait a moment, please. That kind of works. So now we'll just cut into the speaker. Okay. If I can mount it this up in the reel here. Let me see. There it goes. Okay. It's binding, huh? <laughs> it even destroyed the foam right here. Foam off. Get the coil out. The spider surround off. Got some crunchy spider. I'm not sure if it's normally supposed to be crunchy or not. Oh, no, I don't want it to come out. Bring off the dust cap. There it goes. It doesn't even look fried. That's no burnt. Let me get you a close up. There's the coil there, the voice coil. Not even fried. That's how bad the speaker is. <laughs> Just gave up the ghost. Figure out where it broke. Ah, uh, probably right. Probably right there. I don't know. That's your magnet. That's a nice magnet there. Man, if you had smell of vision, that smells. Awful. <laughs> smells like the time I, me and my uncle plugged a speaker into 120 volts AC from the wall outlet at my grandparents' house. Just a few blocks away from here. This was before we moved out here, but it's been a long time. But I still remember that smell quite, quite, quite flat. We just gave up the ghost. Okay, this is RCA speaker wire, because whatever, because this is stuff I had in my old house. I was originally using it, I used it to blow up capacitors, too, you can see right there. Plug the wire this up to the capacitors, twist it around the legs, and plug it in, and it'll Am I gonna shear the magnet? Well, no, that's broken, though. That's been broken for a while, I think, though. Okay, thank you for watching. That's not even fried, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.